How's it going everyone? Aldrin Astacio here with FlightPath.com. Now for the past year, DJI has implemented a new feature called Master Shots. They had this on their previous couple drones. And what Master Shots really allows you to do is select an object and it'll automatically do a bunch of different automated dynamic moves around that subject, around that person that you're selecting. Now it's very similar to Quick Shots, where Quick Shots you have individual movements that you could perform. Here with Master Shots, it kind of groups together similar Quick Shots as well as a couple other dynamic movement ones, but puts it all together and it'll automatically do all of them in sequence. And one thing that is different with Master Shots is that it'll automatically edit everything add audio to it as well. So if you wanted to get something nice and dynamic and wanted to quickly get it edited, have audio attached to it and post it on social media, that's what Master Shots is for. But what's also beneficial is that it does record everything in 4K. So if you want to take some of those dynamic movements and those shots out of that 4K clip and use them into your story, you're easily able to do that. So to engage Master Shots, you got to get the drone up in the air. So let's go. All right, so in order for you to engage master shots, like I mentioned, on the right hand side here, what you want to do is click on the icon there for video and you're going to scroll down to master shots. There you go. And it's just like quick shots, it seems like it defaults to 1080p, but we want to go higher resolution than that. So let's see what options we have 1080p, 2.7, and 4K. Let's go to 4K. And same thing, what we want to do is now select your subject using your finger to highlight it. So what I wanna do now is select the cross and I do wanna select the base of the cross. When I was doing the quick shots, it seemed like it was trying to select the whole cross and wasn't angled where, the way I'd like it to be. So let's select the bottom of the cross here, just like that. Now, once you engage master shots, you'll see a menu system come up here. It says estimated flight time, which means you're gonna need two minutes. It's gonna take two minutes for this master shots to complete. And you can also choose the width, the length, and the height, which means how far away or close to the subject you want it to go. So what I wanna do now is I'll just keep everything at medium. Like if, for instance, I wanted to go length and change it to large. What happens is with the time, you can see the estimated flight time now is 20 seconds longer because the drone's gonna be further away, a little bit more work. So we'll keep everything at medium just to keep it nice and simple. Two minutes flight time for us to complete this master shot. And I think we're good. Let's hit start. Three, two, one. Now when it says adjusting aircraft position, basically what it's doing is moving around so it can clearly identify the subject. Okay, so now it's doing a droney, very similar to how Quick Shots is. Okay, now it does a droney. Now it'll automatically go into the next shot. Okay, circle from far away. That's really cool. Look at that background. Look at the ocean in the background. For those that aren't from San Diego, that is La Jolla right there, La Jolla Shores. This one's a really nice one, which is pitch up and fly forward. Basically the drone angle starts down and as it moves forward towards your subject, it starts moving the camera up. It's a really good reveal shot. Okay, now it's doing a circle close. And we've already done three or four moves here and we're at 50%. And today is one of the hottest days in San Diego. It's only about 10 o'clock in the morning and it is about 90 degrees right now. Okay, rocket, very similar to quick shots, like I said. Camera down, fly forward, really cool. Look at that. Okay, master shot is complete. Now what it's gonna do is automatically compile those clips and actually add audio to it. Hit play here, and here you go. And there it is guys, master shots on the DJI Mini 3. If you guys want a bunch of dynamic movements, auto edited, 
music attached to it, but still have the ability to pull that 4K source file. If you wanted to put that or edit some certain clips out of there for your story, you are able to do that with Master Shots. If you guys wanna see the next video on the DJI Mini 3, make sure you check the link above as well as down below in the video description. As always, if you guys got some value from this video, a big like would be much appreciated. This is Alton Stasio with flightpath.com. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.